Somnambulism is defined to be walking in one's sleep or under hypnosis. And a lot of people wonder why I or other hypnotists call our subjects or volunteers somnambulists. It's because they react very easily and very well to commands we give them. A lot of people get discouraged because they feel like this young lady who comes out of hypnosis and does not react to the command that now, I give her. And three eyes on one way. when all they ultimately aspire for is to be able to become easily hypnotized like these two lovely young ladies and then just as easily experience hypnotic phenomena and come out of it reacting to a command such as spontaneous laughter. <laughs> the truth is, if those you're hypnotizing react like these two, they're likely natural somnambulists. Conversely, if you hypnotize someone that, much like this individual, doesn't react, there's a likelihood you may be working with an analytical if not over analytical individual who is literally sabotaging their own experience by reviewing it as it's occurring. When an analytical personality picks things apart, their brain is firing off neurons which creates brain activity, and in return, it keeps them awake or takes them out of the deep mental state of relaxation they may have been in. The experience of hypnosis is meant to feel like the process of going to sleep considering they're the exact same process of closing your eyes, relaxing your body, allowing your mind to naturally drift, and giving into the feeling of your mind and body sinking as they eventually relax into delta unconsciousness, aka sleep. The primary difference is when you're hypnotized, you're still awake, aware, conscious, and in control, and in that state, the word sleep is merely a synonym for relaxation. This is precisely why hypnotists conduct suggestibility tests and why it doesn't matter if you're hypnotizing a small private party, a high school prom, a graduation event, or a university. More often than not, there will always be a statistical number of individuals who will return to the audience because they're not truly in the best headspace to fully relax and engage in their creative minds, which frame your commands as their temporary realities. Additionally, the suggestibility tests conducted let you, the hypnotist, better understand who the most somnambulistic, aka reactive, volunteers are within the group that you're working with. This makes it easier for you to determine which volunteers could potentially become your biggest stars in whatever routines you have prepared. Lastly, understand that just because someone doesn't pass one or two of your suggestibility tests doesn't mean they can't be hypnotized or properly conditioned for somnambulism. As stated in Dave Elman's hypnotherapy book, quote, there is no such thing as not being hypnotizable, end quote. If you were to conduct a one-on-one -on -one with an analytical person either before or after your show, or even during an alternate date and time when you can privately meet for a more personalized session, there's a greater likelihood you'd be able to help them better experience hypnosis, if not hypnotic phenomena, such as laughter, amnesia, or numerous other things. This is also a good reminder for yourself in case you know yourself to be an analytical personality. It's all about proper conditioning. Either practice self-hypnosis regularly, or work with a professional one-on-one -on -one to help yourself achieve whatever level of hypnosis you aspire to experience. Regardless if you're watching this as an inspiring hypnotist, a growing professional, or someone just simply curious about why they do or don't experience hypnosis the way they desire, I hope you gain a better understanding of your volunteers or yourself with this free hypnosis lesson. If you're curious about other aspects of hypnosis such as whether or not it's scientifically proven, safe to practice, or what steps are even involved in hypnotizing others, HypnoKick answers all those questions and more through its playlist of free hypnosis lessons. There's also a free ebook linked in the description for those looking to officially kickstart their future success as a hypnotist. Whatever your hypnosis-related goals are, you can realistically expect to achieve them with the guidance provided on HypnoKick.com.